Hello, what's up YouTube? Here are Kananan brings another battle. This battle is going to be against Connor and uh, his I IGN underscore is uh, CMJNP if I'm not if I'm correct. So his team is based on Moltres, Hunchcrow, Ampharos, Milotic, Fortress and Donovan. On my side I have my Typhlosion, Meganium. Uh, him on top, Fed Alligator, Ampharos, that will be my Mega, and last but not least, I have my Espion. I don't have any Cell Rocker or Rapid Spinner, but I have my Magic Bounce Espion. On his side, he has the Cell Rocker, Rapid Spinner, can be uh, Fortress or can be Dawnfan, so I'm not sure which one's going to be but well and as you see as you can see I'm using Johto team I, I don't know if I mentioned it before but I want to use it like for a while then well we're gonna start the battle uh, with my uh, I'm here with my explosion I use eruption even though it's not effective I do a great damage against his small threats and he goes for the air slash and I see that he has a life orb. Now he, I don't think he wants to sacrifice his Pokemon. Now he's gonna make a switch, sending Milotic, which is not very effective. The damage is not that great because when well, you know how Erosion works, if your HP is high, almost there high, it does max ma uh, maximum damage. Well, I make a switch. I send my Ampharos. He goes for the Ice Beam, and well. I'm gonna Mega Evolve my Pokemon and I'm gonna use Dragon Pulse predicting that he's going to make a switch into his Dunfan because well my Pokemon my Pokemon my Ampharos he has the uh, bone switch but I actually went for the Dragon Pulse and actually the Dragon Pulse the uh, prediction actually works and I do like almost kill him is not gonna be enough plus I uh, Everybody knows that Donphan run, runs with the uh, sturdy ability. Now I'm gonna make a switch. I send my Espion predicting that he actually is gonna go for the Earthquake or Sterox. I'm not really, I was not really sure, but he actually, actually goes for the Ice Shot. Now he goes for the Hunchcrock and I went for Shadow Ball in case that he goes for the Hunchcrock and, and actually that worked. I actually decided to stay and use that in green because it's super effective and maybe he was predicting something else, I don't know and well, that in green was enough to kill this Pokemon now he sends a fortress and I'm going to make a switch sending my Typhlosion and he goes for the explosion which, well, otherwise my Typhlosion I think it was a good Pokemon on my side but losing Typhlosion on my side is uh, like a big hit in the balls. So now he sends Ampharos and I send my uh, my Pokemon, my nah, Espion, predicting that he is going to make a uh, evolve his Pokemon. But actually, he goes for the agility, and now he's gonna uh, make a evolve his, his Pokemon. And because he used agility, he's going to outspeed my Pokemon, my Espion and he goes uh, for the Dragon Pulse and well Ampharos when Mega Evolve his uh, a special attack is uh, really massive it's like it's some like a monster so I sent my, my Meganium because well I'll, my Meganium was my only hope to stop Ampharos in which he goes for the Dragon Pulse and I get to survive the attack and I use Earthquake being super effective but it's not enough to kill this Pokemon so that means uh, now he's gonna use Dragon Pulse and that gets to kill my Meganium. Well, it's a good thing that I have my team on top and I have Bullet Punch and I have Mag Punch because I have the Technician ability. And well, he decides to stay and I go for my priority move. Now he sends Moltres and well i will use mag punch one more time which is not very effective and i get to kill the monster now since my logic and well i'm going to use the z move with my human top using the z bulk up 
raising my attack plus two and my defense plus one and now use Aerial Ace because that's a neutral damage and his Pokemon he goes for the skull it doesn't burn my Pokemon it's actually a good go hit now I'm gonna use Aerial Ace like I said before because my Pokemon has the technician ability the damage is not that great so I guess his Pokemon is a defensive type so a defensive wall I mean and he, but he has the leftovers so I go for the Aerial Ace and well the attack or the damage that I caused this time is not great because he went for the haze and well my uh, stats went back to normal I used bulk up one more time and plus he went for the recover and now he goes for the skull and and I survived the attack with uh, 14 HP and well I used max punch one more time and the damage is not, is not that great and he gets to kill my human top with it with the ice beam and plus recover HP thanks to the left towers. Now I send my Ampharos and maybe he's gonna predict again that I'm gonna use electrical electric attack attack I mean but I actually I go for the hidden power and it's a hidden power grass and that's super effective against either Pokemon against Milotic or against uh, Dunfan and because he switched into his Dunfan he actually is gonna faint now his last pokemon that he has is Milotic he goes for the ice beam super effective and I was like Thunderbolt has to kill this pokemon because if he survives and use ice beam and he has the low chance of freezing my pokemon and that will leave me like in trouble because I don't, with my Ferraligero I have nothing against his Pokemon if he use Recover and I get to survive the attack of the Ice Beam and it, it didn't cause any freeze and I get to kill his Pokemon with the Thunderbolt and that's gonna be the uh, the battle against Connor CMJNP so I hope you like the battle and here are Canada 9 see you next time and bye